using a variety of approaches in their attempt to prolong life. It all boils down to one thing, manipulation with DNA. Even though the term DNA is widely known, not everyone fully understands what it refers to. In simple terms, our body is printed like an object on a 3D printer according to DNA instructions. DNA is a book that contains all the instructions for the construction and functioning of our organism. The chapters of the book that the printer must read to construct specific cells are marked with special bookmarks. These bookmarks are called epigenetic marks or epigenome. The bookmarks do not change the text of the book, but they determine what the cell will be like, how it will function, and so on. By using this system of bookmarks, the body can quickly adapt to changes in the environment. Depending on the conditions, some bookmarks can be added while others may be removed. Over time, the quantity and placement of these bookmarks change, reflecting the natural alterations occurring within the body as it ages. Investigating these processes, Steve Horvath, professor of genetics at the University of California, Los Angeles, developed a mathematical model to determine human biological age. This model is called the epigenetic clock. In other words, it is an indicator that shows how old or young a cell or the entire organism is based on certain changes in DNA. Epigenetic clocks are used by scientists to evaluate the effectiveness of rejuvenation and life prolonging techniques. Unable to directly place epigenetic marks on DNA, that is bookmarks, scientists employ various methods to influence the organism and investigate how it affects the placement of these markers. Japanese scientist Shinya Yamanaka discovered a way to remove all bookmarks. He identified four factors, four special proteins that he used to transform ordinary adult cells into cells resembling stem cells. In other words,